Welcome to February's LeetCo Challenge. Today's problem is letter case permutation. Given a string S, we can transform every letter individually to be lowercase or uppercase to create another string. Return a list of all possible strings we could create. You could return the output in any order. So we had a string A1, B2. We can see that these four strings are going to be the different combinations that we can make when we make A and B uppercase and lowercase. So how can we solve this? Well, we can certainly try to do it recursively, uh, but I'm going to try to solve it iteratively instead. Say we have the string A, B, C. What are all possible combinations here? Uh, if we start with A, we know that we could either have A or A, right? That's obvious. Now, what about B? Uh, if we add B to here, well, we have to add B to both of these and also have one down here like this, have capital B's like that. And if we want to do it for C, we'd have to add basically C's to all these and C's to all these here. So you can kind of see a pattern here that's forming as we build up our string. Uh, each one of them is kind of like exponentially making more possible combinations. Like it's kind of 2xing exponentially every time. The only exception to that, if there's numbers, if there's like numbers one, then the only combination is this one here, right? So we can definitely write an algorithm to take care of this. Um, we'd have to build up our string every time, store it somewhere temporarily, and then add it to that. The If we have a character, we can add a lowercase and, if it, and an uppercase. And if it's a letter, we can only add it just once. Uh, so I'll show you what I mean. Let's start by initializing our output, which is just going to be an empty list. Uh, but we're going to have to have a string here so that we could uh, for loop through it. So let's see, for, uh, let's call it S. Well, I'll call it characters, C and S. What do we want to do? Well, it depends, right? Is this character a character or is it a, is it a numeric? Uh, luckily, there's functions in Python where we can check for that. We can say if C is alpha, which means it's alpha numeric, or I'm sorry, al alphabetic, um, then we will need to add to every single one of our outputs, both whatever's in here, lowercase and uppercase. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually create a empty list called temp and we'll say for call it O in output. What do we want to do? We want to add to our temp the O plus, uh, we'll call it O lower as well as O, not O, I'm sorry. O plus O, mm, is that right? I'm sorry. O plus C lower like this as well as upper here. Now, if it's not numeric, then we will just add, well, we have to add it to every single output still, uh, but we're only going to add just whatever C is. And that, we assume that's numeric, maybe it's some sort of symbol, I don't know. So once we do that, we fill up our temp with um, building upon what's in our output. And what we'll have to do is clear our output and make it whatever is equal to temp now. And luckily, we can just go through our loop and finally return our output at the very end. So if we look at what's going on here, uh, it should return to us the different combinations. We don't care about order, luckily. Luckily here, the order seems to be the same, but it doesn't matter whether the order is the same or not. So let's go ahead and submit that. And there we go, accepted. Uh, what is this time complexity-wise? Oh gosh, um, assuming that we're looking at n, I believe it's n squared. Might be actually might be exponential. It might be n to the. Uh, is it n squared? I'm sorry, I'm actually not sure here, but I'm pretty sure it's exponential because we're building each time, so it'd be like n to the nth power. I'm not sure. I should probably look that up. But hopefully this helps. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.